No. You good intelligence. <laughs> job. How'd it go down? Okay, good. You saw the paper? Yeah, I saw that already. So who did you end up using for the job? Come on, you, you don't ask that. No hitches. No problem. Okay, like I said, you guys did a good job. Here's a couple bottles of champagne. What? Why? What's, what's happening? Well, there's a little bit of a hitch on my end. Okay, I can't pay you guys the full fee. Uh, not till next week, end of next week. Tell me this is a joke. We gotta be paid, Mike, tonight. Airfares, hotels, we paid out of our own pockets because you said jump. This is bullshit. Hey, look, this is no big deal, okay? Look, I got a cash job coming. I'm gonna be able to pay you Sunday. This is bullshit, Mike. Uh, yes, hello. It's James Reardon, Stella Reardon's father. She's a grade eight student. Class 803. Yeah, Mrs. Walters' class. Yeah, I was hoping to get a message to Stella if I could. Hey, phone your pal in Costa Rica. I still haven't received the invoices. Oh. Hi, yeah. I'd like to uh, get a message to Stella to call me on her lunch hour at 12.15. I'll be on my cell. Yeah, yes, it's her father. Thank you very much. Okay, bye-bye. Please call the guy. I know you got a lot on your mind, but I really need his paper. Yeah, yeah, I'm on it now. I'll call him on the way. Right. What about the bank machines? How are we doing there? I'm talking to Vic today. You're gonna need your own security company. I, I don't think this will work without your own operation. Okay, I'm on it, Mo. I really am. Okay. All right, good. Okay, bye. Later. with professionals. I didn't do it. Did you hire a couple of local guys down there? Please tell me you didn't go down yourself. I didn't go. I was up at the lake all weekend. Ask Rebecca. People saw you there? Yeah, I had a big, huge bonfire. At least 50 people saw me dancing naked. Local cops came. They took my name. You know, I got cops as witnesses. Jesus, man, look at this place. Look at it. You, you gotta straighten up, man. You gotta start looking after yourself. I am, man. I'm just taking some time out to enjoy my life. You know, you should too. You know, I worry about you. You work too hard. You take too much on your shoulders, man. You know, you got a lot going on, man. You know, you got domestic disputes. You gotta take some time out to smell the coffee. Remember Granddad's farm? For sure. I'd just like to go up there, fix that place up, put it back in shape. Be a good retreat, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. Kids would love spending time up there. Oh, man, it would be great for the kids. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. So did you hire local guys down there? Or oh, what? God, no, man. I'm telling you, he got jacked. He probably flashed too much cash. You know, I... Jimmy, I'm telling you, I didn't kill the guy. I left the key with the manager. Just put everything in boxes and straight to storage. Everything. Thank you. Hey. Hey, how we doing? Me personally? Not so good. My informant caved. Said we coerced him. 
Longest, most expensive investigation I've ever run just went down the toilet. Read all about it. Ouch. Three years, six million dollars, and no charges. So if you're offering me a job, I'm listening. If I ever land the thing, you're hired. What's going on? I'm getting sandbagged by Deacons. He's at a station out here. He's insisting I bring him on board to co-handle Reardon. If I do that, Reardon bolts. It's insane bullshit. But he's convinced the intel committee that I need help handling Reardon. So tell me you can't let him co-handle, but you'd be willing to put a UC operator on Reardon. Where am I going to find an operator that can infiltrate Reardon? Stall TC, who's out there? There's nobody out there. There's always somebody. I'll have a look through my book, see if there's anybody good available. OK. But one more thing. Yeah. One of Reardon's growers was killed up in Comox. He said the bikers might be starting a war. You hear anything? I heard they're putting a push on on the island. Let me look into it. Thanks for your advice. Yep. Oh, and Mary, don't screw up. I need the job. I'll try not to. Talk to me, go through the lawyer. I don't have a lawyer. You have all the lawyers. Why don't you lend me one of yours? I can't believe you're putting Stella through this. I feel the same way. We shouldn't be using her to attack each other. So you're going to let me see her then? I'd like to spend some time trying to work it out. Am I going to get to see Stella or not? That depends. On what? On you being nice. <laughs> Look, I'd, I'd like to. I'd like to get together for dinner or something where we can get to talk. I'll think about it. Well, I'd really like that. Call me, okay? Hey, sorry I'm late. You know Rick and Larry? Hey, how you been? Yeah, you know how it is. I'm doing pretty good. We're talking about these guys taking over Bill's operation. Uh, not too busy already? I think we can handle it. You got capacity somewhere? Or are you looking to start a new place? Or what's the situation? You can't use Bill's grows. They're all burned. No, no, we got the capacity. We were running a bigger facility, consolidating about half a dozen grows in the one. We got it going on. We're massive. You want to take a look at what we got? It's a, it's a big organic farm. No, I just need to know you can keep up with the production, because uh, I don't want to lose my distribution. We're close. Two, maybe three weeks. We'd be taking the first bot off the plants 12, 13 weeks after that. So six months. You guys working a deal? Crossing the T's on it now? Well, we got another problem we may need a little help with. We're sitting on a ton of cash, wondering if uh, you could do something there. Mm. What are we talking about? Six million in 20s. How much you want on the dollar? We take 90 cents. Mm, 80. Can't do 90. What well, can you do, 85? 80. It's a pain in the ass. I'm only making 5% after cost. Done. Done. All right. I got to run. You guys work out the deal? Yeah, yeah. I'd love to see that place before you put in the grill. All right. See ya. All right. Excuse me, Inspector. I got something curious on a wiretap you might want to take a look at. What tap are we talking about? Just a minute. Morning, Inspector. Morning, Lee. Uh, guy in the stock market, Randy Bingham. Uh, stock fraud. Bingham's the pump and dump artist. Yeah. Listen to this. I got it queued up for you. They're talking about a diamond play. Um, this is uh, Bingham talking. Yeah, I got no idea what we can offer the stock. Depends on the munitions shipment. It's hung up in the harbor. But when we can clear that and they get delivery, we can get our grants and permissions. That's it. This guy's into gun running all of a sudden. That sounds like it. Who do we have in that office? Casey, the assistant, and they just got married. All right. Keep me posted, yeah? I've got a formality from Cesar's wedding in your office. Inspector. It'll have to wait. About one minute. It's urgent. Want to update you on the Michael Reardon situation? Quickly. 
were talking with Bill Summers about the Reardon operation. He mentioned he'd received death threats from Reardon's brother, Michael. That's who he thought would take the contract out on him. It's in the interview transcripts. Have the Mexicans found any sort of connection there? Not yet. They spoke with a Canadian down there who picked Bill up at the airport and was seen dropping him off at the hotel. Uh, but he's been cleared of any direct involvement. We're checking his associations. How do you want to handle this? I'd like to put an undercover operator on Michael. Mm, I don't think we're quite there yet. <laughs> what do I tell the Mexicans? I mean, they're ready to send somebody up here to start poking around. I'll think about it. In the meantime, put some conventional surveillance on Michael, yeah? Thank you. Just observation, no contact, yeah? No contact. I'll get right on it. Okay, we got to go ahead. Just pulled into a tow yard, Granville Towing. Got it. It's Ted. What do we know about Granville Towing? Yeah, it's a uh, biker affiliated or something. Do I need it today? What the hell do you think? Jesus. I need a list of all available UC agents across the country immediately. And Ted is not to hear about this, yeah? Hey there, James. Hey, Murray. Thanks for coming down. You're out here permanently now. Oh, I'm here for a few months anyway, until we get you installed upstairs. Not long, I hope. Great. Perfect. I have a lot of questions. Oh, I understand that you're having troubles with our Mr. Deacons. He wants to co-handle my informant, and my informant won't have it. He says he'll walk. Deacons is insisting. Well, unfortunately, I think this murder of Reardon's informant probably gives Deacons a good argument for closer supervision. I have a strategy. Can I run it by you, see if this might satisfy the committee? Please. I can't put in a co-handler, because Reardon will bolt. But I can put a UC agent in with him. This would kill two birds. One, it puts someone in place who can confirm and corroborate any intelligence we're getting out of Reardon. And two, it has the practical advantage of having a separate source who may provide additional intel Reardon isn't providing. Now, do you have an operator ready to go? Just trying to work out the dates. Well, I think that would satisfy the committee. I'll sign off on that. And Deacons? Well, if you have an operator on Reardon, I'll back him off. I'll let him know. Excellent. Thank you. Did Arthur mention our internal problem? Yeah, you have a mole here in the OCU? Yeah. And you want to try and turn him? Uh-huh. It's a long-term play. Is he vulnerable? Everybody has something to hide. This is booming. Are you kidding me? It's a monster. I just got the contract for the university. Mm -hmm. Got the city colleges, a couple of malls downtown. I'm buying a company out in Calgary, looking at another one in Winnipeg. Please, I can't hardly keep up. My only uh, complaint is that uh, I'm growing so fast, goddamn unions are trying to organize me. Success is a bitch, huh? Which local? Local 59. Tell me you got a friend over there. I got a friend over there. Really? Who? I told you that he wouldn't be my friend anymore. All right, well, can you put in a word for me? Get these bastards off my back? I, mean, I could give them a little grease if they need it. I can see what I can do. I got something you can do for me. Anything. What's your relationship with your bank like? Good. I mean, they love me. I'm golden. Good, because I'm getting into the cash machine business. ATMs. What do you need me to do? Front the operation. It's a natural expansion of what you're already doing. You'll just be dispensing cash along with the sandwiches. What's my end? Talking percentage between 5 and 7% on the buck, right? Per machine? Yeah, think about that. I'll talk to my friend over Local 59 for you. Grab a couple of cases on the way out. Roger Wesson from Toronto Drug Squad on line two. Roger, Mary. I'm in a huge bind here. I need a UC operator ASAP. Please help me out if you can. Somebody street, male, female either? Nobody. Nobody in the entire country? Well, if anybody, anybody at all becomes suddenly available, you'll let me know, yeah? You too.
Vancouver East to the border crossing is 195 miles. Now you stay 15 clicks ahead of me running for radar. Now every five clicks, you beat me all clear, right? You gotta keep your eye open for choppers. It shouldn't be a problem, but it's been known to happen, right? So you just run me to the border, and then we get our mules taken to the stateside. You mean I never cross the border? You don't get near the border. You just scout the river. Huh? I got my smokes. I got my tunes, man. Let's go. You pass that first traffic light after the bridge. That's when you reset the odometer back to zero. What time you got? Uh, I only got 11.07. 11.07. Yeah, well, I might be a little slow. Don't mess with me, Mike. You got my beeper and my cell and everything, right? Man, I'm ready, Freddy. No worries. That's him. OK, let's go. Where's Mike? Well, uh, I don't know. He said he uh, had something to do. Is he coming in or what? He said he'd be here. What happened to that case of champagne was here? Did we go through that last night? I don't know. Uh, we could have. We had that stag in. They got out of control. Put an order in, will ya? Honey, where to go? Good. Fix having a union problem. You gotta get a Lily over at Local 59 to call to sort that out. Yeah. Phil's waiting in the office. He is? I'll be upstairs. Phil. How are we doing? Well, I, I do foresee a couple of problems if we do end up taking this to court. Um, if you stand up or I stand up before a judge and start saying that your ex is unfit, she's an addict, she brings home stray men and screws them right next door to your daughter's bedroom, whatever, her lawyers are going to do the same thing to you, and all your dirty laundry is going to be strung up from one end of the courtroom to the other with a couple of plainclothes police detectives in the back taking notes. Worst thing that could happen is the courts find neither of you suitable. So what can I do? I want custody. I know. Uh, any possible way you and Francine can work this thing out one-on-one? -on -one? No, man. If I pay her off, it's temporary. It's just a matter of time before she escalates again. I want a permanent solution. Uh, you told me once that she came to you looking at getting into some dealing. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. OK. And, uh, and she's from Britain, right? Well, if she was charged with a serious crime, let's say, uh, cocaine trafficking, we can, we can have her deported, man. No, oh, no, man, I can't have her deported. She's my kid's mother. It's not like I don't want Stella to ever see her again. I just, I just I gotta have sole custody. Okay, uh, so short of you severing all your current relationships and affiliations and becoming a model citizen, I'm gonna suggest that you, uh, try and reach something informal with Francine, okay? Somebody with your background and associations is just not going to come off as a suitable custodial parent, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Just think about it. I spoke with immigration, and your mother and daughter's visas are on someone's desk as we speak. How long will it take? Within the month, we should be hearing positive news. I know, it needs to happen, and everything's in motion. Thank you. What can I do for you? I need a stripper. Someone new, preferably. No history here, and she's going to have to be available for a fairly long-term arrangement. I have a few girls who strip on the side. She's going to be under scrutiny. If she's still working as an escort, if she's not shy about selling sex, that's what I need. And in exchange, they would receive uh, legal status? We can do the same for her as we're doing for you. She should be fairly young, and if she's new to town, even better. Do you want to meet a few girls? I'd prefer it if you could screen the candidates for me. I'd meet your top two. And when would you need her? Now. Today. Today. Did you see the girl on the way in? Uh, she's on the right, Christina. She speaks very good English. She's a very good dancer. She started with the ball showing. Haven't they all? Hey, we're going like crazy. How do we keep up? Mm -hmm. Franchises are sprouting up like shrooms. Mm -hmm. Hey, Jake, how you doing, buddy? Thanks for coming. Yeah, you bet. Casey. Thanks for the wedding gift. Remember what I told you, bro. We'll do. Good time. You looking for a good stockbroker? Yes, your man. Andy Bingham? If you get money with that guy, I'd get it back real fast. I was in big trouble with the bikers and messed up a lottery ticket scam. Oh, yeah? Good to know. Anyway, my point is, uh, I'm doing good. So what's going on with you? Hey, you want some cash machines in here? You can make a real nice percentage just for having them sit in the corner. I won't give it into this. I'm just helping out a friend. It's a good service. Customers love it. You do nothing. Mm -hmm. Pick up a nice figure just for having them sitting there. 
What's the figure? Well, depending on the volume, maybe about a grand a day. Each machine? That's right. Here. The guy's name is Vic. He's a good guy. You know, clean, no record. I'll have him give you a call if you want. You'd be doing all your business with him. I'm, I'm just setting it up. How many of these things you got? Many as you can take. Give him a call. He'll come and see you. Yeah? Yeah. So you're loading these machines? Of course you are. Okay. 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 I got it. I got it. I understand. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a good thing. It does, doesn't it? I'm at mile 109. You got a cruiser doing a radar check at 109. That's 109. Got it. Bingham has a diamond property in the Congo, which is now in the middle of some pretty big turmoil. There's several factions fighting over who controls what territories, and their property is smack dab in the middle. They apparently have an option deal with the current coalition government, which is pretty shaky. There was an attempted coup last week. My guess is that they promised a load of arms to seal the deal. Now they got a boat hung up in transit, and they can't get the diamond stock floated on the exchange until they get this government thing settled. I believe there's a UN embargo against shipping arms in there, yeah? There is. I guess these guys have contacts willing to work around it. OK, let me know if anything else comes up on the wire. Ted's waiting. Thank you. Yes, Ted, come in. Any word on Michael Reardon? He's heading east on Highway 1. What's he up to? No idea. Well, I'm not going to be able to authorize an undercover operator on him, even if we had one. Not at this point. It's premature. I'm not saying never. I'm saying not now. I don't want us tripping over ourselves. Just let me know when. We could contract out to the Americans if we're shorthanded. No, thanks. Just keep your surveillance on Michael a week. Maybe you can see an opportunity where we could facilitate putting in an operator. I'll do that. Uh, one of Reardon's growers got taken off on the island calling somebody. Uh, Reardon know anything about that we can use? I'll ask. What do we know? SFA. Speculation is the bikers see Reardon is weak, trying to hone in on his customers. Do we have a suspect? Nobody. Could have been bikers contracted him. Could have been a disgruntled former employee. Or maybe Reardon took him on himself, looking to throw the stink onto somebody else. If we're lucky, maybe we'll start a war, start picking each other off. Save us a few bucks. I need a credit facility. We're acquiring some new ships, and Jim needs five or six million down to penny. Well, that sounds doable. Uh, things are going well, obviously. We bought three barges and two tugs last year, and we're looking for two more. And I have a little something for you. Last time I was here, we were talking about my grandfather and all of his bootlegging stories, and I went up to the attic and I dug through this trunk and I found a photograph of one of his boats I thought you might like. Wow, would you look at that? This is how it all started. Uh-huh. When I was growing up, he used to talk about the famous lost load. He was out running this U.S. gunboat and he put a hole in the hull and he had to abandon ship carrying 500 cases of scotch. I'm sorry, 500 cases of scotch? It's uh, still out there somewhere. Well, let's find it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! Mile 165, I just got popped by a radar trap. I see some identification, please. Coffee, tea, water, something from the bar? I'm fine, thank you. Have a seat. Make yourself comfortable. I assume Katerina told you a little about what I'm looking for? She did, yes. You're looking for a dancer? Someone to report to you the things I see? Right. And I don't have to go to court? No, 
I will never ask you to make a statement or testify about anything. As far as you're concerned, we've never met. We've never spoken. You've never been promised anything by me or offered any inducements other than cash. Okay. I like that. Perfect. As far as who you are, you're who you are. Your history is your history. You're a recent emigre. You also work for Katerina as an escort. Everything is as it is in your universe, except I don't exist. Okay. What information am I looking for? At the moment, nothing. All you're looking for right now is a job. When do I start? What about right now? Any commitments? Nothing. I have an appointment for my nails. Fine. Do your nails. Then you start. Mr. Fleming. Yes, sir? You can pay this any time in the next 20 days. Then it goes out. Drive carefully. Thank you, sir. Where are you? Speeding ticket, can you believe it? That's not funny, Mike. Shit, the sim. Okay, be cool, okay? Did you order already? Oh, I'm gonna eat fast and drive slow that way, kind of evens out, you know. Okay, I'll be watching you. How you doing today? Good. S excuse me, miss, I believe that I was here before those two gentlemen. Go ahead, just trying to make up for lost time. You know what you're having? Yeah, a bad day thanks to your friend over there. Oh, he'll be wanting some fast food. Oh, funny, yeah, well, you know, I, I got a couple questions here. Um, it says here that the chicken is organic, is that true? I believe it is. Okay, and how's that done? In the oven. In the oven. Not a microwave? No. Um, what exactly are the seasonal vegetables? I believe it's carrots and peas. Carrots and peas. Not those little tiny frozen... I think they are. Uh, uh, okay. Um, you know what? You can let these two guys go. I'll just have another look here. Okay. Yeah? Yeah? No, you go on ahead without me. I'll catch up. Hey, I'll walk my best friend into you to save his life. Listen, I'm sorry about what happened to Bill, all right? We weren't involved. Michael's involved. He contracted Raul and Rosie. Now he's stiffing him on the payday. How do you know this? Listen, Raul's looking for Mike, and Rosie's crazy. Jesus Christ. Hey, how you doing? Thank you. Okay, look, you tell Raul I gotta talk to him. All right, I wanna get on top of this shit before it gets out of control. What? Harvey, come on, just, jeez, give me a chance to sort it out, all right? I shouldn't have done that to Bill. Right? You promised me. You tell Raul to call me. You know what? You know what Bill's hobby was? What? Spiders. Yeah, now I got, I gotta go back to his place. They're probably full of them. I'm gonna get bit. Look, you just tell Raul I wanna talk to him. Tell him. Yeah. Hey, hey, where's Mike? Is he in yet? No, he's not at home. Rebecca said he has something to do. Who with? Ask Rebecca. Rebecca. Yeah? Who'd Mike leave with? I don't know. Excuse me, I'm looking for the manager. No, that's me, you're looking at him. How can I help you? I'm a dancer. I'm looking for work. You're a dancer? I knew that. You got an agent? Because I go through the agents. I don't want to give up the 15%. For what? You want an audition? Sure, yes. Okay, when this girl gets off. You got your own music? Uh-huh. Give me. When she gets off, you go on up, you do a set. Excuse me. That's my set. Yeah, you're going to take a break. You got a costume? Uh-huh. Good, we got a dressing room upstairs. You go get into your costume. When you hear your music, you show us what you got. Okay. What's your name? Christina. Tina. Christina Tina. A name so nice, you have to say it twice. <laughs> okay, 
Go get naked. Thank you. Ronaldo. Ronnie. Ronaldo. You got a stage name? Sapphire. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, special guest appearance this lunch hour. Sapphire. Stick around. See if she sparkles. Roger Deacons wants a quick word. Roger, how are you? Hi. When am I going to meet Mr. Reardon? He hasn't been able to reply. Your key informant and you can't make contact? These things happen, but I'm sure he will, and then you will be the first to know. I really don't want to be put off any longer. As soon as I hear. Yeah. It's Tina. How'd it go? I got the job. I start tonight. Good girl. It's not professional, I know. It was my go yet. Yeah. Wait a minute. Good. Makes it 12. That's for the trouble. Good. Thanks. So, uh, you still need someone to run the grows. Come and see me tomorrow. You got it. Thanks. The broker was talking about the munitions ship again. Here we go. This is Bingham. Bingham ship is sitting in Panama. Was he talking to you? No idea. Can we get the load off the boat? This sounds like the munitions supplier. And that's it. I want to get in the middle of this. Stay on top of Bingham and try and find out who that was he's talking to. We'll need to apply for a tap on that guy, too. And get his phone records. Thanks, Roger. Mallaby. James, it's Mary. How are you? Oh, good. Just settling into my office. What can I do for you? Did you hear about my munition ship? Yes. There's been an update. We know the ship is stuck in Panama, waiting for the crew to get paid. Uh, I'm sorry to say there's not much we can do about that, Mary, other than just keep an eye on these people. We're going to let it go through, then? Well, we have to. We can only take action if and when they reach their embargo destination. That's a little late, no? I'm afraid that's the story. All right. I think I'm going to like this girl. She's good. Yeah? Which one? That one right there. I like her. Oh, I'm gonna take this. Can I see the Bingham file a minute? Yeah, hello. I need some advice on a ship full of guns. Don't. Don't. I need a little privacy here. You and your girlfriend? Fine. Sink the ship. I don't think I can do that. Where are the guns going? Africa. Congo, it's an embargo destination, but these guys, whoever they are, smuggling arms is their business. They know how to get around it. If it was me and I didn't want the guns to get to where they're going, I'd uh, call up the other side, let them know there's a load coming in, and have them rip it off before it gets there. Guns still end up on the market. Who's the local guy? He's got a diamond property over there. Guns are part of his deal. What's his name? Randy Bingham. <laughs> Ship rat. You know him? Oh, yeah. He owes me a lot of money. Really? I think I could fuck up this deal for you. Oh. Let him know he's being watched. All right, he gets paranoid as hell, starts calling up everybody involved. You get to know all the players. I don't want him knowing I'm watching him. Come get sideways. Well, it may not work, but if you can't catch him, at least you can mess with his shit a little bit. You want to tell me how you do this? Mm -mm, no, no. You just be ready by the phones, because he'll be calling up everybody involved in a panic. All right, no, that's it. Talk to you later. I don't know, Jimmy. I don't even know this Bingham guy. Well, that doesn't matter. You're a cop. You want to ask him some questions, it's going to take the meeting. Okay? Yeah. Get out. I got to go. All right. What happened? I got a 
broken axle. Oh, shit. What? Officer Friendly just stopped to help me out. Oh, I'm coming around. Oh, shit! Is that your phone? <sighs> okay, what do you need? Oh, well, we got some information that came to us, and I need to uh, make sure I get it confirmed. Yeah, sure, if I can. One of your business associates is involved in running narcotics. You wouldn't know anything about that? No. He's got it on a boat. Tied up in Panama. Well, we don't know anything about that. Who are we talking about? <laughs> so you don't know anything about a boat bringing in a load from Panama? My mistake, then. Well, if you hear anything about something like that, would you give me a call? Yeah, sure. All right. Hey, you know, I was thinking, uh, tell me, should I buy commodities now or should I wait? Well, get into some of them, some of them might wait. OK. Call me if you can give me a tip on that other thing, huh? All right. Phones are heating up. Bingham's all agitated and making calls. He's all panicked. Here we go. A narc came to visit. Something about somebody I know bringing in a load of dope from a ship that was tied up in Panama. Who's that? I had no idea, but we gotta kill this thing, at least for now. Call Perry, let him know. Anyway, sounds like he's pulling the plug on the arms shipment. Do we know who he's talking to? Well, we will as soon as we look at his phone records. Stay on. Michael Reardon's getting into something with the bikers. He stopped by a biker tow yard this morning, left on a rental car. We got surveillance watching the car he abandoned somewhere near the U.S. border. What's he up to? I still got no idea. But maybe if he's doing business with the bikers, they got the contract on Bill. Reardon working with bikers would be new, yeah? Uh-huh. You tell me. Just keep an eye on Michael for a few more days. Anybody see Mike? I need a fucking bartender here. Hey, where's your brother? I got people like dying of thirst here. I haven't seen him, but I need to talk to you. Tina, can you pour drinks for a while? Yeah. I need six Heinekens for the table in the corner, champagne for the guy in the front row, and tell me you know how to make a margarita. I know how to make a margarita. Hey, you should check out this new girl. She's great, and she works the bar, too. I should have told you this earlier, but I had to go put out a fire first. Mike contracted Raul to do Bill. Look, I, I don't know what to say, except you're gonna have to deal with him. Uh, yeah. Before he takes us all down, all right? He's out of control. At least when he was in the joint, we had some kind of peace. I know. What am I gonna do? Ship him out. You clean him up. Yeah, I can. I'm at the truck stop with Officer Friendly. Where are you? Well, I'm watching the truck. I'm watching the two guys who are watching my car. We got tailed. Oh, yeah, okay. So... So get out of there. Do not go back to the truck. Just go to the can and keep on going. We're screwed. What about the load? Oh, just forget about the load, okay? We lost it. It's 200 pounds of double A, Mike. Oh, man. Look, okay, I don't care. So you lost the load. Just get out of there.
Mary did an in-run around me. You aware of that? No. She went over my head to James Malaby, convinced him she didn't need a co-handler with Reardon. <sighs> no shit. He agreed to her putting in an operator on him. When did this happen? Today. Just got the call. If she's got Malaby on her side, there's not much we can do. <clears throat> What's going on with her brother? Yeah, she won't let me touch him. She's worried about it stepping on our relationship with Reardon. What if the Americans were to conduct an investigation on him? If they were to take him down, that's nothing to do with us. What sort of thing are we talking about? We'd have to get him stateside, have him arrested there. Why don't we look into that? There's dick all happening here. You want to go? Hey, let's go look back at you. Nice to see you. Don't cause trouble, please. <laughs> left and stole all my friends from me. You abandoned me. Go get all we get. Okay. You abandoned me. You left me with nothing. Jesus Can't we please, please, please try and get together again? Please, just one more time. No. No. No! Oh, we were good together. I'm gonna call you a cab. Bring me a tequila. Call a cab for me, please. Tequila, please. Double. <laughs> Dance with me. Come on, don't be such an ass. Oh. Let me know! Let go of me! Let go of me! Let go! Chinese was closed, but Thai instead. <laughs> 